All right, we're getting this thing cranked up. So this is the Bobcat T770. This is a 2021, 2021 model. Prefer that setting there. It was good past weight, so. Gonna let it warm up a little bit here. Never a good idea to just start these things without letting them warm up. All right, everybody, what is up? My name is Eric McGrew, and today we are going to be talking about, well, if I can get my camera to focus. What's going on with my camera? Come on, camera. There we go. So today we're going to be talking about this uh, trailer right here. Once again, I'm Eric McGrew with Eric Street Service in Montrose, Colorado. Also, Elevated Office Podcast and my sponsors, Weaver Arborist, Gap Arborist Supply, and of course, Just Send It Sauls. So today I am talking about this trailer here, which by no means is a sponsorship ad. I am not associated with Big Tech, nor am I associated with the company that sold me this trailer, nor am I associated with Bobcat, which I'll be showing you here in a minute. I am just talking about what's going on and why I'm doing this. So I just bought this trailer. It's a 7,000 pound car hauler and I have owned it for like, I don't know, four weeks or something, not long at all. And um, I unexpectedly bought the Bobcat T770 over there this week. So now I am actually taking this trailer back to the manufacturer and <laughs> I am going to be returning it and they are going to be giving me a trade-in on a 14,000 pound trailer. So why am I doing this? Well, one, the Bobcat uh, T770 compact track loader is around 10,800 or something pounds. So it's pretty heavy. Plus I have a couple of implements. I have the extreme duty bucket and I have the root grapple coming for it. So. 7,000 pounds won't even hold the tractor, much less any of the implements. Note here for those who are new to um, trailers and things like that, 7,000 pounds includes sprung weight of your chassis. So if you have 5,000 pound or, you know, these are like 4,500 pound axles or something like, no, I'm sorry, um, 3,500 pound axles each, because it's dual, so each one's probably 3,500 pounds. It can hold a total of 7,000 pounds according to manufacturer spec. Now, I'm not gonna lie, usually they underrate them a little bit, but for safety reasons, I don't recommend going too far over their spec. And so that means that this trailer here, if I remember correctly, has a weight of around 16 or 1,800 pounds. So you have to deduct the weight of your chassis, which is in this case, let's just say it's 1,600 pounds, from 7,000 pounds. So now you're at 5,600 pounds or something along those lines. So um, definitely not capable of the load that I want. Now, instead of buying a dump trailer, I'm buying another trailer, but it's gonna be a utility trailer. The difference is this is a car hauler, has no sides or whatever. The utility trailer will have a bar that runs right here simply because they have nothing else in stock that is 14,000 pounds, only the utility trailers. It's not a bad deal. The only thing that I've already found out and is not ideal is that the 86 inch bucket on my Bobcat will not fit inside the rails. So it will have to sit on top of the rails, but it's not the end of the world. So if you're in like equipment work, heavy equipment work or anything for any period of time, and I don't know that this is heavy equipment work, but it's like grading and for me, it's mainly forestry work. That's what I do with it. Um, you'll find that equipment's kind of an ever rotating carousel. Uh, you find something that works for a while and then you need something bigger or you bought something on a deal and it wasn't quite as good as you'd hoped. Then you buy something else. So with all that in mind, this one's going back. I'm about to pull the Bobcat over. We're going to haul, we're going to take that right there off the fertilizer um, unit that I have. And then we are going to uh, get this thing unloaded so that I can take this, get it washed, and then take it up to the dealership. So here we go. All right, everybody. So I've had the Bobcat running for a little bit. This is at one of my dump yards. And it's been warming up because you don't want to let these things 
you don't want to crank them and then just get in them and drive them you want them to warm up for sure got to do my little dance of getting in this thing because whoa yeah big guy almost fell off the bucket there not good still smells brand new all right ac is on that's a must i am using mine in iso where is it at there it is i like iso it's super convenient to run 5.7 hours on this joker so now i've got my bar down gonna hit the green button to go gonna lift up my bucket just for travel and then i'm going to turn up the accelerator oh got to turn off parking brake Make sure nobody's behind me to not run into anything. Can't see with the alarms in the way though. Okay, getting around that little thing, here we go. There's also a foot accelerator if needed. So I can leave it at like medium idle for equipment. And when I want the speed for moving it about, I can use the, um, foot accelerator and then just take it off and then it's just a foot rest so that's pretty cool I like that feature quite a bit because I always hated driving the old ones with no um, foot rest in them it was I was always hitting stuff with my feet that I didn't want to and then my shins and calves would be like crazy sore at the end of the day so let's see what we can do here got to get this thing up over there there we go got to put the parking brake back on I have bucket leveler so that no matter where I pull it up bucket stays level it's in auto idle so it's going to idle instantly after I don't know how many seconds but it seems like after five or ten it's pretty quick I think you can adjust that as well but it helps efficiencies to a very large degree um, but I've got a little bit of a problem I can't get out of this thing to get that hooked up our um that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out something else. Hold on. All right, so I've got the chain set up. That was a little bit sketchy. Um, I hate having to get out of this thing under the bucket up, but sometimes you just have to make sure your parking brake is on when you do that. So I should be ready to go. Um, hopefully this chain won't pop off because there's no real good area to attach these straps to Arg. and that's what I was afraid might happen right there all right guys sorry about that I wanted to show you getting that up but I just couldn't find a good place for the camera so now I've gotten it turned back right side up this is just a little bit of diluted fertilizer so it's not like it's going to be a big issue. I just got to be gentle about getting it up so it doesn't come swinging into my cab of my truck or tractor. Dang it. It's just going to do what it's going to do. Um, hopefully I can pick it up like this and then I'll have to set it off on the ground in a minute. That's not ideal by any means, but it's not the end of the world either. Like I said, just a little bit of fertilizer. These are always sketchy deals when they're that close to the tractor and you're moving like that. Um, not the best situation. I didn't have any way of strapping it that I felt comfortable with in any other format. So I didn't want to do that. And this system here has not been the best system for me anyway. So I'm not that concerned with it. I'm more concerned about my straps on it than I am the system itself, which is not, I, that's not really how you want your fertilizing system to be thought of crushing that little pump hopefully it'll be all right but here we go crushing it gonna leave that up so I can get out and ratchet it up 
right side up. Maybe this will work this time to get it set off to the side by itself. So, yeah, not ideal to get out under a bucket that's up either, but man, I tell you, it's just the way this morning is going, which is fine. I'm used to it at this point. Oh, of course, it punctured straight through my strap. Of course it did. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. Well, I thought I should probably put four straps on it, but to be honest, I was just being lazy and it didn't matter enough to me. So, here we are now. I am backing out of where it's at. It's off on the ground out there. I don't have to worry about it anymore. So now I'm just backing this thing up into a parking spot here. And I'm on my way to get the new tractor. I mean the new trailer. 